Welcome back everyone. We're going to be solving Lee code 243, shortest word distance. So we're given an array of strings called words dict and we need to find the shortest distance between uh, word 1 and word 2. So the example they give us is words dict is equal to this array and we are looking for coding and practice. Uh, practice is at the zeroth index, coding is at the uh, third index. So 3 minus 0 would be 3. Uh, is there another one in here? Practice. And yeah, so the output would be 3. Uh, words dict, again, we can run through this whole thing. We're looking for makes, index 1, and coding is index 3. But we have another, so 3 minus 1 would be 2, but we also have another makes over here. So we take the index of coding subtracted by this index and we get the, well, the, we would take the absolute value if we're subtracting the smaller number first and then we would get that output of one. Okay, so how can we do this? Well, we know we're going to have to calculate the distance between two words. So let's make a variable called distance and we will set it equal to uh, float of positive infinity first. Now. Um, in order to do this in one pass, we're going to have to keep track of two other variables. Let's call them w1 and uh, w2. We will set both of these to float of infinity. Float of inf. Okay, so now what do we need to do? We need to loop through our array and find the index of... Uh, if we're looking for word one, right? Well, find the index of word 1, which is coding at index 3, and then we will update uh, word 2, what is it, word 1, word 1 respectively, so this would be 3 instead of float of positive infinity, and we'll do the same thing for word 2, so let's do that, so we'll say for index value in uh, enumerate of what, what is it called, it's called words dict, what are we going to do? We need to check if uh, that value is equal to word 1. Then we need to update w1 to be the index. And if that value is equal to word 2, we need to update our um, word 2 variable to be equal to the index. Right, and then after we do this, we can potentially update our distance. Right, so say we have say we have example one again. Right, we have coding at index three and practice at index zero. Right, we would update these after we've gone through this for loop, and then at the end, right, we would update our max to be three minus zero, which would be three. So how can we do this? We can just say distance will now equal the, are we looking for the minimum, shortest distance, minimum. We can say distance will now be equal to the minimum of either the current distance that we already have, or it will be the absolute value of word one minus uh, word two. And then we can just return distance at the end. Let's get rid of some spaces. We'll run this. We pass both test cases. Submit. OK, so what is the time and space complexity of this problem? We are not using any extra space, so we are O of 1 for space. Time complexity is going to be, well, we have a for loop here. So that is going to give us O of n. However, we are making a string comparison with inside this for loop every time we iterate in the list. So that string comparison is going to be um, an O of k time, right? So this is this loop is essentially going to give us an O of n times uh, k time complexity. And that'll do it for Lico 243, shortest word distance.